What are you guys doing in there? Did you guys hurt in my engine bay today? I was waiting for the engine bay paint to dry, but I didn't thought you guys would beat me to it. The engine bay is finally soft and shiny. So I can put the suspension back on and lower the car because today I'm gonna be working back on the interior. I'm gonna finish the interior up and I got a really cool thing that I'll be installing in today, which I've been waiting forever to get it and wonder what it is. So first thing first, put the coilovers back on, lower the car, well, put the wheels, lower the car, finish taking the glue off from the interior, that stupid glue that, the glue from the sound editing material that I still got left over. I'll see if I put it like brake cleaner or thinner or something gets it out real quick. And then I'll be installing the thing I've been waiting for this whole time. After a few hours of cleaning later, the interior is finally clean and I'm ready to install my new things for the car. Ended up using brake cleaner and a spatula. It will soften it up with the brake cleaner, just like scrape it off. And then finally, I scrape it off with a wire brush and it, then a lot of wiping because it turns into this like brown stuff. So you have to like keep wiping it off with brake cleaner until it all comes off. I got these two boxes in the mail and I wonder what it is. All right, let's see what we have here. Yes, finally. My seats came in from NRG. Things are nice. All right, so I got the cushions. So this side goes like this. There we go. I wonder if I fit in them. This fit perfect. I actually don't fit tight on this. They, they weren't kidding. These actually are meant for big people. Like I actually, my shoulders fit perfectly. My hips fit good. Back fits good. It's not like super tight. I'm like, oh, I can't barely fit in this seat anymore. I can't barely fit on Adam's car. I, I wish I could just put this seat on his car so I can like take it for a drive and then put his seat back in. But no, it's not going on my car. What's better than one energy seat? Two energy seats. I got a passenger seat now and a driver's seat. So I can now, my, whoever's driving with me doesn't like fall off the seat anymore. There's also this little brown bag. Oh, they got gloves. Hopefully these fit me. These are SFI approved 3.5 spec 3.3-5 glove so you can use this on fd this actually fit really good not many gloves fit my hands my you know my hand is so big like the way my hand is set up but this actually fit really good they're comfortable they're soft and they look good also ended up getting carbon fiber canards
Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. So it's a little one and a big one for each side. So technically, they're gonna go like this on the bumper. See what we got on the other box. NRG seatbelt harnesses. This should be, yes, 5.1 cam lock SFI approved racing seat um racing seat belts. This will look really great with the seats. I like the NRG logo on it. I got another set of seat belts. Paper. This should be the quick release. I had them. I ordered the version three, I think it is. Yeah, this is the generation 3.0 quick release, which has the big flappers to remove the steering wheel. It's like, I always wanted one of these. I finally got one. Then there's a box inside the other box. These are the seat brackets. They make seat brackets to fit straight on BMW bolt-ons, so you don't have to like be fabricating stuff. And this should fit great with your own seats. Then I have to do a quick run to the hardware store and get the bolts to install the seat brackets. So the upper bracket to the lower bracket on the seat and those did not come included in the kit so I have to just get about this size bolt. I'll show you guys the specific measurements that I got at the hardware store once I get back. Came back from the store and I got some 516s. Got some 516 bolts and nuts. These ones are 3 quarter of an inch long. The reason why I went with this is our flange bolt and flange nut, so it holds load on a bigger surface and just a regular nut. And also it's locking, so that's why when it goes all the way in, it just locks and you don't need a locking washer or another washer. It's just less stuff, a lot simpler, and it looks nice. I definitely needed to make this mock-up of the parts that I got today. So I got seat belts for both seats. I got canards. They're like double up. I got the racing gloves for the suede steering wheels. They're also the ones that you need for Formula Drift. They're SFI spec 3.3 slash 5. These are the same gloves that you need for Formula Drift or drifting. Most trucks actually require this. So it's good to have this that I actually fit my hand. I got the NRG quick release. This is the latest version. So it's the one that I always wanted. And right, now we gotta install these brackets and mock up the seats. First thing, grab the driver's side bracket and mock it up. I removed the hardware out of the way. Now we can put this, line it up with the holes. Perfect, now I can put the seat on and see where it sits. Since I am a really tall guy by nature, I will want to install the seat as far back as I can. Um, all right, so yeah, to move it all the way back, I'll need to line up this hole with the first hole on the bracket. There we go. Now let's see where the back ends up. Uh, there 
It's gonna be right here. Now, as you can see, this has movement side to side. So I'll need to center the seat. All right, let's go ahead and install this on the car and see where is it sitting at. See so if I need to move it towards the center or I need to move it more towards the door. I need to center the seat with the steering wheel. All right, so that's what I have my seat now. Actually, like kind of like too high, so I'll probably need to lower the seat a little bit. In fact, little T Rex driving over here. I definitely wish I could go back a little bit more since the seat is a little bit too forward for me. Kind of wanted the seat to be like literally all the way like back here. I'll try lowering the seat a little bit and see if that helps. Decided to take it off and put it on the lower level. It's not letting me go all the way to the bottom since the seat already hits the bracket. So this should be as low as I can go. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts now since I already know I have to be like all the way maxed out to the inner or the inside of the car to have the seat aligned with the steering wheel. I now installed the seat. I, I'm putting the hardware on to mount the bracket to the floor. The, there are 17 millimeter bolts. On the front are two nuts and then the back is one bolt. The other side I ended up using a shorter bolt that I found because the stock bolt wouldn't fit through the bracket for some reason. Sorry, it was actually a 16 millimeter, not a 17. The seat is fully bolted on. Let me try it out. My arm, I don't have to extend it to get to the chapter or the e ring it's right there. So I think it actually fits great. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the fitment. Now we're on the passenger side. Since I already learned about the steps on the driver's side, I can now redo everything a lot easier on the passenger side. Now that I installed the seats, all I got left to do is to install the new quick release. The seat belts, I will not be able to install them today 
because I need a harness bar to properly install them and that should arrive next week. The hub comes with this little button right here, which you can't, you, if you wanna release it, you have to press the button and press and, and pull on it. But it's removable. They actually even give you this little tool here to actually remove the button if you don't want it. So you can have a two step release or just one step release. I prefer the one step release because there's no way I'm gonna pull on this while drifting. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is to actually remove the steering wheel from the old hub, or the old quick release. Now we have the quick release just by itself. I'll remove this part. And now I got access to the back bolts that hold the quick release to the hub. Now I can go ahead and install a new hub to the wheel. First thing, I'm, like, I'm gonna remove the hub. The two parts come out. I'll just need this part. Now I will install this back in there. All right, here's, here's what I find out. You need to install this ring on the wheel first and then like press the steering wheel button, the, press the horn button into it, have it flush, and then this will help you guide the steering wheel into the hub and let her stand with no bolts. Now, when you put this over it, it's already perfectly aligned. Let's see how nice it is to remove it with this quick release. And the wheel has, little, has no play. It's perfectly solid into the hub. Other quick releases that you have a lot of wiggle in the steering wheel, this one has zero play at all. It's like perfectly solid in there. No wonder why I see this quick release in a lot of race cars. Now it's another race car where you see in this app. The last thing I want to check out before I close today's video is to see how this gloss feels on the steering wheel. Now it's professional. I can't barely feel that e brake handle with this. It's like so comfy. Huh. That's great because that way it won't hurt when you're like pulling hard on that heat brake handle. I can't wait to drive this thing already. Ah. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now so I can get to editing. It's been a lot of fun installing this cool stuff. I'm glad I joined the NRG team. I got new seats, I got steering wheel. I got quick release. I got more stuff coming in next week, which one of them is gonna be the harness bar, and the other one is I'll surprise you guys what it is, which you guys like how it makes my car look. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's looking like a race car interior. Much more like it now. We're getting there, guys.